Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Hot alpacas. This is great, Tess. They guard the sheep. Oh, yeah. Keep the foxes away. Is that right? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Foxes probably paralysed with laughter. <laughs> Mum! <laughs> Trucking and food and water for Kalani. I take any, then I'm in debt to him. I'm not that desperate yet. Well, we are. They're starving. What are we going to do? <sighs> How's it going back in the saddle again? Yeah, I'm doing okay. How long do you reckon you could go for? If you had to. Why? Well, we have to go driving. It's the only answer. Take the cattle out onto the track and hopefully find some feed out there for them. Well, we'll be on the drove for a couple of weeks at least. But I left a list of our jobs on the desk. But you know everything that needs to be done. If anything goes wrong, just call Kalani. It won't. I know. That's why I'm leaving you in charge. Thanks, Claire. No mucking up. Is that clear? No, you don't trust me, thanks. There's other people I don't trust. Keep an eye on her for me. I'm 19. I don't need a babysitter. Never thought I'd be it either. Oh. Meg? Terry? Oh, we've got plenty of food. Oh, Jane insisted. How thoughtful of her. Tess, I'll keep an eye on the place from our side. Still a few foxes out there, I reckon. There's nothing to worry about. The sheep will be fine. Our packers never leave their flock. Those bloody useless things. star pickets. Yours sincerely, Becky. No. Yours sincerely, Rebecca Howard, leading station hand that drivers run. They're Claire's emails. I thought you couldn't read very well. I can recognise her name. <laughs> Listen to this one. That is Claire's private stuff. Hey, now tomorrow we clean out the shearing shed and the shearing quarters. Knock off around four, have a bath, do our hair and get ready. For what? The party, Saturday night. Jody, you heard what Meg said just before she left. I know, can you believe it? Jody, there is no party. Uh, this is about the don't have it in the house thing. Hey, it stays exactly as Claire left it. I've already invited everybody. Well, you're going to have to ring them and tell them that you're sick because Claire left me in charge and I say no party. Drivers are on, Becky speaking. Yeah, hi, Brick. Yeah, I miss you too. It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles, cross every river, and find your not alone. Cause I'll be there.
journey, but five days on the road, what do you expect? I wasn't actually. There's a water hole a couple of k's ahead. We can camp there and water the stock. But well, what about us? I haven't washed my hair since we left home. I don't think it's deep enough for a dunk. Oh, there should be enough water there for a push out. Yep. All right, well, let's hurry up and get these cows there. Come on! Hey, 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 hey Tess! They're here to eat and put on weight, not be hurried along and lose it. We'll be there in a couple of hours. How long do you get for drowning your sister? It's a waste of water. Save it for your hair. Come on. Come on, Oscar. Hey, Claire. Remind me to tell Nick he is an angel for rigging this up. I'll pass it off. Oh! What are you doing here? Well, they're all busy, and um, I remembered that this was my idea, so. Are you going to fill the water right. up? Okay. Oh! What is it? Nothing. It's... Yeah, you're right. Yep. Well, yep, okay. Yep. Yeah. No, Nick, I've got a leech on me. Can you get it off, please? Don't touch it. I've got some matches. Well, what are you going to do with them? Well, I need to make sure it's all out. I'll burn it off. No, it, it's on my leg up the top. Get it off me and I need... The bit, look at the bit where the leech is, okay? Okay, absolutely. Oh, quick, hurry! Have you got it? Yeah, almost. Ow, Nick! Oh, oh! It's gone. Is that it? It's yep. gone? Yep, it's a big one, too. Oh, I think they're disgusting. Almost as big as the one on your bum. No, what? <laughs> oh, you're very funny. Hey, I wrong. promised I only looked at the bit with the leech on it. Pretty good bit, though. Nick. Great cake, Meg. One weekend, still pulling out the surprises, eh? It's James. So, Terry, this track's still the same as when you were out here last driving? You've been out here before? Yeah, it'd be about ten years ago now. Hmm. That's how Terry and I first met. I didn't know that. Yeah, Jack brought his mob out, Harry followed, brought a new stockman with him. Yeah, when they said they were bringing the housekeeper from Drovers out to cook for us, I was expecting some old battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> you got a surprise. Yeah, sure did. Oh. OK, come on, everyone. Have your laugh and get it over with. Yeah, have some cake, love. Oh. It's quite cake, Meg. It's Jane's. Oh. Here you go, boy. will play. Huh. You know, you've taken to the cat, a really horrible one. Too bad. Time to go to bed. Long day tomorrow. <sighs> and even longer with the party. Hey, Claire. Found it. Found what? My star. Yours? That one on the end of the saucepan? It's mine. Do you all get one? <laughs> yep. Nice. Thanks for not telling the others. Well, it's not my leech. <laughs> Sticks and stones.
not make. It's eczema. Eczema? You mean itchy skin like we get? Nah, it's different for cattle, a lot worse. It's like being sunburned on the inside. Ow. We need to get them out of the sun and treat it. Yeah, but we're in the middle of nowhere. They don't get treated, they'll die. Over there. Let's go. We'll call a vet, yard them up. No. It's eczema. It's not contagious. If that's what you're worried about, we just need to get them off the track. If you don't help, they're going to die. I'm sorry. How can you do this to someone else's cattle? At least let us use your phone to call a vet then. Look, I'll call mine for you. That's all I can do. If we don't get them out of the sun, they're going to be in agony. I'm sorry, no. So you're just going to let them suffer? Just stay on the track. We're bringing them in. Blair, if you don't he want can't to just turn away hundreds of cattle just like that. Yes, he can. It's his property. He didn't listen to a thing he said, but he just doesn't care. Well, that may have a go. for whatever went on outside. It was, um, heat of the moment stuff, you know. My sister, she's very attached to her animals. She communicates better with them than she does with people. When I first moved in, she hardly gave me the time of day unless I mooed first. My name's Tess. Uh, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Look, I know you're probably worried about your stock, but... Our cattle have all the symptoms consistent with eczema, which Claire swears is not catching, not that I'd know the difference between cattle eczema and spare rib tinea, but... But, uh, these cattle are our livelihood. That's why we're out driving. They were starving at home. And now it looks like we're going to lose them all... unless you can help us. Well, you can yard them around the side. I'll, I'll open the gates. Well, that's great. Rick's uncle wants him to stay longer than he thought. Bad luck. Yeah, he wants me to send the rest of his clothes up. That's the bummer. Move it. Hey, so, um, you'd have to go over to Kalani sometime. Yep. I mean, you don't want to leave Rick without his clothes for too long. Don't even think about it. What? G'day, Alex. Hey. Young ladies? What do you know? Everything OK? You don't need to check up on us. Tessa's mutant llama's doing the job. We're all doing just fine, even the alpacas. <laughs> yeah, it's just work, work, work around here. It's like living next to Noddy and Toilet. Condition due to lack of feed. That's why we're out here. Now this. Yeah, well, the cortisone and zinc will stop them getting any worse. Want to save them? Won't right, know till tomorrow. Uh, Daniel was worried that our cattle might walk it into his yards. Nah, that's not possible. It's a verdict. Waiting game overnight, no promises. I lose 10%, I'll just get by. Any more than that. I'm in serious trouble. Come on, Strawberry, get your head out of here. Here you go. Come on. I'll hold it still. What are you doing, my bitch? Oh, you... oh, oh. Lovely. Oh, dearie, I'm sorry. I, oh, I missed a bit. Oh, oh. right. Oh. 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 oh, yeah. Hey. Ka-ka. Ka-ka. Can you believe 
supposed to be scared of these things. They seem so big and threatening at first. You don't realise how gentle they really are. Yeah, except when they're sick, then they can get pretty stroppy. Well, wouldn't you be? Imagine being sunburned on the inside. They've got a lot to talk That's about, what haven't they? they? Said it's like. Goodness. How painful is Better that? do a thing or he might change his mind about us. How can she have so much to say to a total stranger? You know, Tess. I got really badly sunburnt after a big night once. I fell asleep on the beach and I got these blisters all over my heart. Hope you know how stupid you blokes look. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, but it's true, right? You meant to be looking after the sheep. The sheep, you idiots. What oh, useless animal. Well, shoot your boat. Come here, the sheep are that way. Come here. Thanks for your help. Just hope we got to them in time. Um, we need to watch them overnight. Is it OK if we camp here? Or... Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, thanks again, Daniel. We are you. Look, if there's anything else I can do for you... No, we're fine, thanks, mate. What about something to eat? Oh, thanks. We've got to own cook. Okay, well, if you want to use the bathroom... I don't suppose I could have a shower. Yeah, sure. Feel free, all you. Yes. We don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? We wouldn't have offered if you didn't mean it. We really need to keep an eye on the cattle. Oh, well, Terry and I can do that. We can? I don't know. If one of them goes down... We can manage. If there's a problem, we'll come and get you. Well, I'm accepting the offer. It'd be rude not to. I'll just go get my bag. We can't let it go in by itself. Guess not. Are you sure? I mean, yell if anything happens. Don't worry. Thanks for dobbing us in. Fresh damper, fully beef, and I saved the last tin of peaches. Condensed milk? Plenty. This is right. We should be polite. Bloody lucky you've met, Daniel. Yeah. Very. Yeah, take your time. I've only got dinner to burn, then I'm going to grab an early night. I'm whacked. Yeah, well, I'll see you soon anyway, OK? OK. Bye. Woo Party time! <laughs> Come on, the sheep are over here! Yeah. You know what I... Yeah, well... What I said before about you being stupid, well, yeah, you're not, you know, you're, you're just unusual, that's all. Hey, look, if a fox gets one of those lambs because you guys aren't around, Tess will kill me, right? OK, all right. Let's do a deal then, OK? Look, you obviously don't like me. Well, I don't like you either, right? Hey, 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 over here, the sheep are over here! Still on the stuff. Who are you? Well, that's gonna be my next question. Uh, I'm a friend of Bricks. Bricks away? Yeah, I know. He phoned me. Uh, he needed some more clothes. Well, does the friend of Bricks have a name? Yeah. A girlfriend, actually. Becky. Well, I'm Jake. I'm uh, filling in for him. Well, I'm in a hurry, so if you can show me where you put the stuff, that'd be great. Sure. Yeah, that didn't seem to go with the whole denim look. It's mine. Oh, well, he's a romantic guy. I can see why he would be. Yeah. I'm just going to put this in the car. Oh, I've been doing the figures in my head. I reckon I could scrape by even if I lose 20%. Claire, can you stop killing the cattle before any are actually dead, please? Well, look, you might be able to get by with a bigger loss, but I can't. We're both in the same boat, but I'll deal with the worst-case scenario when I have to, OK? 
Sorry about my sister. Show her a bathroom she takes out a six-month lease. I heard that, Claire. Yes, no problem. Um, I use some of your bath salts. I hope you don't mind. Yes, no problem. Tess likes to make herself feel at home in other people's bathrooms. Yeah, and a beautiful bathroom it is too. I love those matching duck thingies you've got. You have really great taste. Should I sit here? Uh, I've got it for you. Thanks. Wine? Oh, yeah, I'd love some. Wow. Look at all this food. You must spend half your life in the kitchen. Uh, not really. There's, um, chicken, beef, and I think that one's tuna. What, you cook so much you can't remember what's what? Uh, Tess says you run your own place. Yeah, yeah, we'll go. It's tough, but I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah, and I'm on my own with 4,000 acres here. Oh, Wilbur's about 3,000 acres. Yeah, it's what you can get out of the land, though, if it counts. I've got 320 head. Mm-hmm. Got 400. Right. Yeah, I'm still building. I hope to have another 100 head in about 18 months' time. Well, let's not let this delicious food get cold. There you go, Claire. Yeah, thanks. Uh, look, uh, thanks for dinner. I'm just going to check on the cattle. What did I tell you about my sister and her cows? How she can put them before nice wine and good company, I'll never know. Settling in OK, everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Hey, uh, you worked on a few properties before this one, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Have you ever had anything to do with them uh, alpacas? Uh, can't say I have, no. Mm. Right, uh, so I don't suppose you know what they eat, then? Sorry, I, they're alpacas on Kalani. No, no, mate, no, I'm uh, just wondering. That's all, uh, you know, future diversification, all that sort of caring. <laughs> right, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Alex? Did, uh, Rick have a girlfriend? I was seeing, uh, Becky Howard over at Drovers. Is it serious? Well, he was. I can't speak for Becky, why? Just curious. Right. Camping out tonight. Something like that. Good, you won't believe me. Look, um, do you know the back way in here? Excellent. Okay, I'll meet you there. Bye. Don't you get lonely out here by yourself? Well, not tonight. Some people prefer to live by themselves. Yeah, you do. Not my choice. Me either. Must miss the city. Yeah, I do sometimes. Yeah. Not enough to go back for good. Well, how could I live without mozzies, saddle sores and leeches? You know, I had a leech on my leg the other night. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. 
You've had a long day. I wonder why he isn't married. He's young, he's good looking, he's got his own place. Shower with a really big water tank. Gorgeous taste in everything. Maybe he's Tom, gay. Time is out. Bit of a wait for the apple pie, I'm afraid. But look, if you want to go check your cattle, Nick, I understand, won't be offended. Oh, yeah, go ahead, we're fine. Oh, well, I'll be back soon. Cooking's not my thing. Well, you do a mean casserole even if you can't remember what you put in it. <laughs> you mean my neighbours do? What's the secret? Lose your wife. Couldn't take that one down, it's my favourite. The bar salts. China ducks. Oh, you were right. She had great taste. I'm sorry, Daniel. Ah, oh, you were tonight. It was an aneurysm. Six weeks ago, she just fell down. Never woke up. Well, have you got someone you can talk to? It um, it helps, you know, to talk about it. I had counselling once after my mum died. You're so like me. Cattle are no worse. Well, that's a good sign, then. Yeah, it is. Terry, I've said I'm sorry about Kevin. It was... It was a mistake. I miss you. I miss you. Then why can't you forgive me for one stupid, stupid thing? We always said what we had was convenient. That we were comfortable together, no strings attached. Well, deep down, there were strings for me. And me. I never meant that to happen with Kevin. You used me. No. Yes. I love you. Ever since we first came out on this track together, and I, I always will. <sighs> so what's the problem? It's not serious with Jane. Is it? It is. Well, she doesn't treat me like she's looking for something better. here, not just behind her back. You're jealous. Rick's not here and you can't have any fun, so neither can I. That has nothing to do with it. Really? Yes. Then you can shut the door on your way out. You really don't care that Claire and Meg have left me here to do a job, do you? Hey, you tried, can't do better than that. Night. Mm. 
So, Craig, what do you really think of Jody? Did she ask you to say that? I mean, is she just a good time or is she someone that really matters? Of course she matters. Can you make her feel special? Can you make her believe that she can be anything she wants to be? And then help her be it? Because that's the difference between most guys and, and guys who really respect you. Well, of course I respect her. Then prove it and don't take advantage of her. I'm not. Okay, she invited me around. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't do anything that Jay didn't want to do. Okay? Okay. You lay a finger on her while her mother's away, and you can say goodbye to your bits. So I would wait until Meg got home, wouldn't you? <laughs> so, I think, I think we should take this one step at a time. Not a problem. Can we get straight to step two? Well, well, well no, no. So, I think we should go. What? Well, because I respect you. Craig. Where's Meg? I was sleeping in the ute. Why? It's too far to walk home. Poor Daniel. What is it with women? Suckers for a man of mystery every time, me. Eh? What is it with blokes, you mean? So he's got a few more acres, a few more head of cattle. Bother me. Well, something does. I can tell you don't like him. You think that's why? Well, what then? Why does everything have to be a competition? Not everything, sir. It's just some things. Yeah, well, I still think it's stupid. Well, you're very lucky, only losing two. What about the rest? Well, they've come this far. I think they'll probably pull through now. Lucky you were so close to help when, you, when it happened. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. So how long do we have to keep them yarded for? You can move them out when you want. The important thing is to get a meeting, get them back into condition again. Yeah. Mm. Oh, thanks, Graham. You've been great. Yeah, no thanks, mate. Okay. No problems. See ya. Yeah. Bye. I'm sure Daniel wouldn't mind if we stick around. Can't really afford the feed, Tess. Back to the track, Jack. We better say our thanks and goodbyes then. No, I want to pack up and get the mob moving first. No problem. I'll do it. You reckon she'll be back before dark? <laughs> hey. Daniel, hi. Um, about last night, I, I hope I didn't upset you. No, 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 no. It was, uh... Good. I don't remember it. Wasn't well, that worse? Sometimes, but then I think, oh, what if I'd never met her at all? It might have been easier. It took never known her. No, 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 that'd be much worse than anything I feel right now. Really? Yeah, of course. What, never falling in love? What sort of life's that? Oh, mine. <laughs> yeah, what about Nick? What about him? Aren't you two? No, 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 no. Oh, right. Anyway, um, I just hope you're all right. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Tess. 
Don't miss your chance. Mate, you might only get one. They just, uh, they, they look at me and run. <laughs> Not the response you're used to, huh? What do you think I'm trying to do here? Look, there's got to be some way to bring him back, right? You could dress up as another alpaca. What do they eat? Jody? Grass. Yeah, look, apart from that, you know what? Fruit, biscuits, uh, chocolate? Tess bought some alpaca pellets. Tess bought some alpaca pellets. Hey, you still haven't answered my question. What did you say to Craig last night? Who says I said anything? He used the word respect about 15 times and then he ran out on me. That's not normal. No, normal is the guy jumping your bones and not remembering your name in the morning. You should be grateful. No, not when you think you've got the right to run my love life. Jody, Claire and Meg left me in charge. Me. Becky Howard, the loser who can't read properly. Don't say that. You're not. Well, I wanted to prove that. Meanwhile, you were too busy making sure that I couldn't. I'm sorry. Too. But you know, I will end up being the oldest virgin. <laughs> we made it. Thank God. Yeah, back sooner than expected, too. Well, it's given our pastures a chance to recover. I knew driving was the right thing to do. Yeah, with a little help from Daniel. We finished everything on the list you left? Yep, and we did heaps of other stuff as well. Oh, thanks, Beck. I knew I could rely on you. No worries, Claire. You did remember to clean our room, didn't you? This is the third time you've asked me, and yes, okay? <sighs> no, I better be heading back to Kalani. Thanks for the four meals. Don't forget Jane's esky. No, yeah. Terry. But I don't really think there's any more to say, Meg. I'll see you around, mate. Yeah, right, yeah. See you around. doing here? He said it was okay if I waited till Meg got back. Waited for what, Craig? Right then, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Look, Mum, nothing happened, honest. <laughs> it's true, Meg, nothing happened. Are you serious about him? Do you really like him? Yeah, I guess. Then make sure you treat him right, and he'll do the same to you. OK. <laughs> Come get it, guys. It's yummy. Come on. I told you the alpacas don't need checking up on. They never leave the sheep. Yeah, sure. We do share a fence line, you know, Tess. So how was the drive? I opening that. Please leave my alpacas alone. I'm happy to. I haven't got stuffed toys on steroids anyway. What's behind your back? Oh, well, it's nothing. What well, looks like breakfast. Breakfast. Run late this morning. Want some? Oh, no, thanks. Who 
who's been sleeping in my bed? Oh, hey, I cleaned the whole room twice. I knew it. My room's never that tidy. The yeah, alpacas are fine. How are the sheep? Well, they're fine too. Why can anyone trust them to do their job? Isn't it gone? Uh-huh. Well, he didn't even say goodbye. So I wanted to go home. Probably sick to death of us. Hi, Nick. Sorry I left in a hurry. No, I can't say that. I think I'm stupid. Tess. Hi. Uh, I didn't get to say goodbye before. Yeah, I, I had to get back. Hmm. And I just wanted to say thanks for the shower and the leech and everything. Wasn't it great? <laughs> My first drove, sleeping under the stars, eating fresh damper and seeing all that country out there. Yeah, meeting tall, dark strangers. What? Daniel's wife had just died, and I reminded him of her. That's all. Oh. Poor bloke. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I've got to go back to Drovers tomorrow and pick up my cattle. Oh. Well, I could give you a hand. Sounds good. All right, well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Hard to know the stakes. So hard to read the signs. The tracks were faint, made long ago. There's been so many times. Try.